Hello friends and beautiful people. It's time to do another quilt shop quickie. I'm super excited about this one, but I, I'm chuckling on the inside here because remember how we were gonna do this to match the new table runner and the new uh, coasters? Well, now we're not. It's one of those things I'm like a ferret on speed. We are actually gonna do a few of them to decorate the quilt shop for 4th of July. Then I will rush over and I mean, it only takes a couple minutes to do them. So I will uh, do them later, but for today's video, we're gonna do some for the shop. Here's what we got. This time, this is my second time doing the video, I put them in a little box because last video, I was chasing them all over the floor. So this is what we've got. And basically these are four inch wrapped styrofoam balls. Now you can get the balls in all different sizes, for the uh, thing that I'm putting them in here in the shop, I wanted the bigger ones. You can buy a variety pack on Amazon or you can get them by specific size. I find that if you order the variety packs, they send you a lot of the small ones and not as many of the large ones. So this is what we're talking about. It is not that um, styrofoam that's got all the holes in it. It's that kind of solid styrofoam. I, actually, it's not even styrofoam. They call them foam bowls. We need this one dollop of Elmer's glue and three one inch strips of fabric and these are just going to be um, the width of fabric so if you want to use a fat quarter obviously it's going to take you a few more of them but other than that that's all you need for a good time and what we're going to do is we're just going to and I do cut the selvages off because I don't want them to show up later I just start on the top of the ball and I am going to just wrap the first wrap around until it grabs on to where I started. And then I'm going to turn the ball and make an X. Now I know that you are gonna be like me and wanna be all OCD and go here next. And for me, it's easier to fill in the ball if we just go ahead and make a mess right now. So we're gonna do an X here. And then we're gonna come across and fill in our X, just like we're cutting a piece of pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Mine's peach pie. All right. Although I do have to make a strawberry rhubarb pie tonight because it promised the hubs. Now, when we get to the end of this one, see he's all just flopping there in the wind. We're just gonna take the end of the next strip now, if you're using a homespun the way this one is, just make sure it doesn't have a brush nap on one side so that it all looks the same. Otherwise, it's gonna look kind of silly on you. I'm just gonna overlap it on that one and keep on, we're gonna do that X again, or that, not the whole X, but just that little part again. And then we're gonna come over and go back to filling in the ball. kind of weird doing this into the camera instead of watching what I'm doing. It's actually turning out better than the last one, which is kind of fun. Oh well. All right. And I am pulling this a little bit taut. Um, you don't have to, but I am because it seems to be, um, when you do that, it seems to keep those edges down a little bit better so that you don't get so many of the little wrinkles. And if you get little uh, puckers or wrinkles in there, you know what this girl's gonna do. Little Q-tip, little Elmer's glue, we'll get that thing to lay down. You either do what I say or I'll take care of ya. All right. So really, whoopsie, I didn't mind my own uh, business there. Covered up the tip again. We're just gonna fill in the rest. We've got some extra, but we're gonna use it because there's nothing. I made some once and I was trying to be, I tried to do it with two strips of fabric and it can be done. Except for once it's been, you know, rolled around a little bit or whatever, some of those um, edges came apart a little bit on me and you could see a little bit of the foam ball. And that was kind of embarrassing. Make sure everything is all covered and that's it. And you ready? The grand finale. You don't want to miss this part. It's just like school. First you have to open it. 
And we're gonna do a little dabble do ya. Right there on the end. And then we're gonna pull it and hold it for a second until it dries. Otherwise, it's gonna come snapping back off on you. You're gonna have to rewrap. All right, so now let's talk about what else we're gonna put in our bowl. We can put tuffets in there. Do you remember when Miss Rosie did this pattern years ago? I bought, I saw that they still had them at my distributor, so I went ahead and bought some more because I love these. Basically, you're just filling up, it's for bowl fillers, and you're making little quilt blocks. Let me see if I can get me over here and get over there. And you're just fill, using them for bowl fillers. And I love that. So we can make some of those with some of the fabrics that we put in these, or we can just make the quilt blocks. Here's something else I like to put with them. And these are the um, fruit salad pin cushions. So there's strawberries and watermelon. And we actually had some samples of these made up at the shop. And I set those on my antique spools and have them in my sewing room. I don't have any of them down here in the shop. But since we've moved, they're all still packed away somewhere. But those are both great ideas of things that you could put in these bowls with it. You could um, take just some shredded fabric and put it in instead of like the raffita that people use. I like doing that. I, uh, I did that once and that was... It wasn't fun to make <laughs> because I was cutting, I think I cut my strips like at a quarter inch and then you, you obviously can't crinkle them. So I just, what I did to do it is I laid um, three or four things on top of each other and then just was doing it and they were crooked and you know, cause they were sliding around, but it actually made it really cool. So that's it. We're filling bowls. What are you going to fill your bowl with? All right. Till next time, friends, be blessed and be a blessing.